Hello? Can you hear me? Your ship crashed. I'm here to help. Ah, don't touch that. It's keeping you alive right now. Just leave that on your face. My name is Leo. Can you tell me your name? No response. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna bring you onto my ship. Okay? She's just over there. If you can hold on and stay conscious, that'd be great. I promise I'll get you aboard as soon as possible. Huh? Shit, your suit's caught. Hang on one second, okay? There. Hold on tight. Don't faint on me. I need you awake right now. Hey. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, finally. How do you feel? Dizzy and sore. Yeah, that seems about right. But the morphine seems to be working. Yeah, you busted both of your legs. But hey, you're alive. I think that's what matters. You're thanking me. Uh... Why? Yeah, I... I did rescue you, but... You saw my ship, right? She's white with a purple cross. This is kind of my job. I do other stuff too, but I'm a medic by trade. You still want to thank me? I, uh... You're welcome. Sorry, I don't normally get thanked by my patients. Why not? Well, they're usually very busy. They don't have time to talk to me aside from the medical stuff. Some I don't see after they wake up, and a few don't wake up at all. So, I'd like to know how you didn't see that asteroid in your path. I did calm your ship, but I guess you didn't hear me. Your ship was shot earlier. By whom? You don't know. Well, can you describe their ship? Black and purple. Kinda scuffed up. Sounds like bandits to me. Yeah, is there a problem? Not really around here, though. Do anything in particular to piss them off? Not that you remember. Wait, remember? Can you tell me something you can remember? Well, that's pretty vague, and doesn't make all that much sense. I think you hit your head harder than I thought. What about your crew? Sorry, your crew? Don't tell me you're the captain. Yeah, well, you don't look it, that's all. Sorry. Um, about your crew. I saw two bodies, and a third alive. You. Nothing else. I'd be surprised if a ship of your size was handled by as little as three people. So, the others were nowhere to be seen. floated away. Impossible. 
I watched you crash. There was nobody else. You had 14 people aboard that ship, but I don't have any answers for you. I'm sorry, Cap. Me? Oh, I wouldn't call myself a captain. I travel alone. Always have, always will. I just don't see the need to take up space if I can take care of Maria by myself. Yes, my ship has a name. If I'm gonna spend this much time aboard her, she might as well have a name. Anyway, I'm gonna take care of you now. You don't have any credits. Um, I, I'm not gonna charge you, Cap. I'm paid by the local government to take care of people. Whether they're civilians, soldiers, or very important people. But you're from a different sector, judging by that uniform. I don't recognize it. Do they not have prepaid medics where you're from? I see. Personally, I think that all medics should be like me. Why should I turn away helping someone, or have them owe me just because there was some kind of incident? Someone in need is someone in need, and I'm someone who can help. Uh, permission to scan you? Thanks. Do you feel sick at all? Hmm. Okay. If you feel like you're gonna release your meal, let me know. Well, the scan shows nothing unusual. You wanna see? Uh, sure, I, I guess. This is your brain. It looks normal. Right. Could you follow my finger, please? Good. Hmm. I think you have a mild concussion. I'll be monitoring you as much as possible whilst you stay aboard. I don't anything will go wrong, but you're in my care now. So, I'm going to connect you to this monitor. It'll tell me your vitals. I just need to put this on your right middle finger. Yeah, it's that simple. It's like a more advanced pulse oximeter. Medical technology can do a lot in our times now. Even complex breakages can be healed within a significantly shorter period. Speaking of... Let's take a look at your legs. Don't look so panicked. I already set your bones and everything. You won't be in any unbearable pain aboard my ship. I'm just checking you haven't shifted any of my equipment. Equipment? Maybe I'm a more advanced medical ship than what you're used to. Fair enough, this was only implemented a few years ago, but this machine here is healing your broken bones. The inside is a bit delicate, so I'm making sure it's all good. If it heals you well, you'll be able to walk around within a week or two. Yes, a week. You won't be staying on my ship a week, so don't stress about that. We'll use it for a couple days until we reach the next space station. Then, I'd advise you rest as much as possible. Maybe 
see another medic. Yes, I'm taking you to the nearest station. Your ship isn't salvageable, and you have no one to wait for. You have somewhere to be. Like where? You can't remember. How helpful. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I can't take you to somewhere you don't tell me about. If you don't know, then I apologize, but I can't take you there. Nah, don't say sorry. You didn't give yourself this amnesia. The best we can do is to try to heal you as much as possible, until we reach the closest station. Which is... Imperia Terminal, if I remember correctly. Never heard of it. God, you must have hit your head hard. This station is famous for its design. All the areas are separate, completely detached, but you can teleport between them from inside. They built it that way to minimize damage when people dock. It's got to be one of the coolest space stations in the galaxy. A question? Sure, go ahead. Oh. Why do I wear a helmet inside my ship? Well, I have a guest. I don't need it to breathe or anything, so don't worry. I'd just rather keep it on around others. Self-conscious? I guess you could say that. Anyway, you should get some more rest. I estimate we'll reach Imperia in about three days. This area is usually clear, so it should be a smooth journey. Sleep well, Cap. I'll see you later.